What are the top five after school snacks to fuel your kids before a game? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey, I'm Andrea Benton from Raising Boys TV and I am here for Team Snap. And we are with Nadia. She is a dietitian. She has two amazing kids and we're going to talk about snacks and um, fueling your kids today before they go and do that sport that they're going to play. So let's start over here. What have we got? Okay, so we start with a little bit of cheese and crackers and some juice. Oh great, that's fantastic, I love it. And the Baby Bell, um, I'm a huge fan of this because uh, my kids eat a lot of them and they're just on the go. And that's great. Uh, number two. Okay, so we have a little bit of hummus with crackers and some cut up veggies. In this case we have some carrots. Fantastic. And then number three. Alright, so this one's a great snack to go, especially if you're in the car, you've got to drive before your game. So we have some yogurt, a granola bar, and some cut up oranges. Yeah, and I have to say, I do really like this one because, as you say, this literally is grab and go, and you can chuck it to the back seat of your car, which you never want to do, of course, but you can, you know, it's very easy and it's quick and dirty, and if I'm on the go or I'm picking up my kids, it's, it's very flexible yeah. for me. Yeah, love it too. So that's awesome. And number four? Okay, so leftovers are fantastic. You know, sometimes you've been working all day, you have no time what do you have in the fridge so we have some pasta with meat sauce and of course a glass of milk yes and we're continuing the Star Wars theme go Darth go all right and then number five okay so really important you're coming in you're tired you want to sit down with your kids and just mm -hmm. take a break and role model have a snack with them sit down some nuts some grace and some water for hydration. That's fantastic. And again, this is a really quick and dirty snack. So if in my situation, we come home from school, we've got maybe 30 minutes, I can sit down, I can have a snack with them, we can talk about you know, their school day and make sure they're ready for the activity that they're gonna do and then we can go on our way and I love that. So, so that's fantastic. So that's great. Again, this is an amazing spread. Um, I've got lots of options and variety for my kids uh, because they are picky eaters. And um, yeah, I've got lots of good snacks now in my arsenal and I'm all set. So thank you, this was my fantastic. pleasure. So I'm Andrea Benton from Raising Boys TV. I would love it if you found this information useful, if you could pass it on to a parent or a coach and, and um, give them lots of ideas of how they can uh, give their kids healthy snacks before uh, they go to a game, that would be awesome. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. This is the position you should be in after you shoot the ball. Here, let me see a follow through. Okay. See how his elbow is locked? Whenever you're working out at home, you want your elbow locked. You don't want your fingers out here. Tendencies of kids is to shoot the ball like it's a hot potato. They shoot it and take their hand off really quick. And they, 